Imagine two cross-sectional areas of a semiconductor at distances 0 and x. If the number of either electrons or holes is greater in one area compared to another one, carriers tend to move from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration, even in the absence of an applied voltage or external electric field. This process is called diffusion and the electric current produced due to this process is known as diffusion current. For example, in this picture, the concentration of electrons in the area at x equals zero is greater than the concentration of electrons at distance x. So dn over dx, which is the concentration gradient, is not zero. Therefore, electrons diffuse from x zero area to x area so that the concentration gradient dn over dx becomes zero. The diffusion current is proportional to the cross-section area A, charge of the electron or hole Q, and the concentration gradient, which is dn over dx or dp over dx. We can convert this proportion to equality by adding diffusion constant, which is shown by the capital letter D with subscript N for electrons and subscript P for holes. So the diffusion current equals cross-sectional area A times charge of an electron or hole Q times diffusion constant dn for electrons or dp for holes times the concentration gradient dn over dx for electrons or dp over dx for holes. Current density can be easily obtained by dividing the current by the cross-section area. There is an important relationship which relates diffusion constant to the mobility. This relation is known as Einstein's relationship for a semiconductor. According to Einstein's relationship, the ratio of diffusion constant to the mobility of the charge carriers is constant and is equal to the volt equivalent of temperature Vt, which equals Kt over Q. Where K is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature and Q is the charge. The value of Vt is approximately 26 millivolts at 300 degrees Kelvin or room temperature. 